Avon, we're at the stage where we need to make some decisions. Mum, I know you think he could still be in there, Mum, but it's not a coma. She knows. I'd like to sit with him for a while, if that's all right. <clears throat> Ben's sister is arriving this afternoon from the UK. I understand his parents have both passed away. Uh, there's another sister in the South Island, but uh, she's not well. I'm sure she'll make it for the funeral, wherever that will be. Anything more I can do for her? Still mad at me? I am so sorry, Gerald. I didn't know what to do. I just wanted to help. You did. You made me realize that I wasn't thinking straight. How's Ben? Ben's gone. Gone? Do you mean? The Ben we all knew and loved died. Oh, I'm so fond. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Uh, I'm supposed to meet Yvonne Jeffries here. Anita. Yvonne. Shall I take you to him? Yes, please. Uh, why don't I put your luggage behind the desk? Uh, this is Gerald. He's one of Ben's friends. How was the flight? Did you manage any sleep? A few hours. I gather you've been kept informed of Ben's condition. I assume there's no change. No. I've only just come to terms with the fact that Ben has gone. I keep thinking about what he'd want, uh, being an organ donor and so on. He never stopped helping people. Never. Come in and sit. This is Anita, Ben's sister. Hi. How could anybody do this to him? We used to joke about Ben being Teflon. He'd slide out of any scrape, nothing would stick. That's why I couldn't believe... None of us could. He was such a gentle boy. You weren't gentle when I was little. Imagine trying to teach a three-year-old to drive a quad bike straight into the shed wall. He squeezed my hand. It's probably a muscle spasm. Sorry. It felt more than that. Can you page the doctor on duty? Ben, it's me, Anita. You're gonna be okay. Hey, I just spoke to Ursula. Well done, you. You were a pang, but you need to get some good video of Isaac in the team. Am I a snob? Are you kidding? Anyway, now that you've managed to cosy up to Ursula... Oh, hardly. Well, either way, I think we should consider giving her the theatre footage back. After we edit it. Sure. Are you free tonight? Um... Unless you'd rather spend time with Ursula. No, it's not that. Oh, you're incorrigible. Mind you, she looks like the type of woman that would enjoy a fight before bed. I just thought spending an evening with you... Well, Callum might object. He's in Mudry Bar with his mum. I know. And that could make it worse than Callum's eyes. You just go on ahead. Oh, is Chris telling you we're best mates now, is he? <laughs> Something like that. Good. Do you think my footage might turn up soon? Anything's possible. What are you up to tonight? I'm asking this one out for a drink. Barry hatchets and so on. Definitely no work talk. Perfect. He was just about to ask you out. Oh, great minds. Seven o'clock suit? Um, sounds good. Excuse me, work. Am I just wasting my time? No. He's a good guy. See ya. I'll take it you've got Jane Keane to invest in some shares in a racehorse then. Hmm. I'm meeting her here today to chat about. Oh, and here she is now. Hello, little poor people. Freshen these gentlemen's drinks, eh? And one for yourself, my good man. Oh, thank you so much. Beer? Great, thanks. 
Like to grab a table? He's good. So, how did you go at getting a contract? The owner's still kicking himself, but needs must. Yeah. Shares out of steel, eh? Oh, I'm looking at outright ownership. Wow. Which horse? Butterfly kisses. Mmm. This all looks good. Great. I'll just have my lawyer to look it over. Tomorrow, hopefully, and then we can sign off on it. Very sensible. As you should be. Oh, am I being too nutty? Not if you're investing well and balancing it out with some real estate. Anyway, how about I take you to dinner? No way. I am buying you dinner. It's so nice of you to be the go-between in all this. Let's go through, right? Lovely. A whole racehorse. Bit of a gamble. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Mm. I gather your sister's not well at the moment. Did she meet you? No, not yet. We've retested Ben. What you felt were involuntary muscle spasms, which occur in roughly 40% of the patients in Ben's state. Anita was talking to him about their childhood. It couldn't have been a coincidence. Well, we believe that's exactly what it was. We have no evidence to indicate otherwise. X-rays, scans, EEGs. They all show the same thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you've had to go through all this. I know it's awful, but at some stage soon we have to decide what happens next. It's too soon for you. It's just so hard to accept. What? That we've lost him. Stop that... it! Ben is in there. I felt him. I felt his spirit. And he's... No, you're not family. You're as whatever. And there is no way I'm letting you or anyone else tell me that there is nothing there. My brother is still alive. <laughs>